Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Today is date November 9th, 2013. Just a little bit before 7 a.m. Central Time here in West Arkansas. And what you're looking at on screen is the latest image from the Montre Observatory of Comet Ison. Now, as many of you already know, Comet Ison has brightened two magnitudes within the last couple of days. It went from a magnitude 9 to magnitude 7, which is very substantial. And we expected this. So it's nothing unusual at all. The uh, We did expect this to happen about a week ago, but Comet Ison is a late bloomer, and that's fine. It's just as long as it holds together and it is getting brighter. Now, according to Bruce Gurry, the premier amateur astronomer tracking Comet Ison, the inner coma continues to brighten at the recently established rate of 15% a day. Now, he goes on to say that there might be a, a coma structure uh, on the sun-facing side of the comet, which, which simply means, guys, the outgassing of the comet has picked up rapidly and is causing the tail to get brighter and longer and the coma to get brighter as well. Now, a bit of more of good news for you. Right before I come in and made this video, after we got to uh, processing this image uh, from the uh, telescope, I grabbed a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars, went outside and looked east, and you could see common ice and clearly with a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars. Now, when you do grab a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars, you will not be able to see common ice and like you see in this image because this image is taken with a 16 inch telescope. But what you will be able to see is definitely the coma area and maybe possibly a short portion of the tail in the 10 by 50 binoculars. Now, as the days go on, the comet will continue to get brighter and you will be able to see more and more of the comet as the days go on and as we approach November 28th. Now, pulling up Stellarium here real quick, simply go outside and establish where Comet Ison is with your pair of 10 by 50 binoculars. And um, it's still partially right under Mars, but uh, it's getting closer and closer to the horizon as the day's gone, guys. So you want to do this kind of quickly and get out there and get a look at it. Just look east, know where to look at, and you will see Comet Ison in a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars. Now, remember, guys, Comet Ison is only three to four miles in diameter, a very small, compact comet. And uh, I also want to bring up a note here that Comet Ison has nothing to do with the recent uptick in solar activity that's been taking place during the last few days. We are in a solar max, guys, and that's what happens in solar max is that the solar activity picks up. Now, we do know, though, comets do affect the sun. We do know that comets cause solar flares. How do we know that? Because we've seen it happen time and time again on the space probes that NASA has up in space, SOHO being one of them where comets come in close to the sun and cause massive flares to, to jump off. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen on the 28th when Ison reaches its closest point to the sun, but it is very, very possible that Ison could cause a flare when it comes in. And I have a video when I get done talking here, it's only 58 seconds in length, showing comets coming in close to the sun, sun grazing comets, just like Ison, coming in close to the sun and causing huge flares to pop off. Okay, so be sure to watch that video when I get done here. So recapping real fast, guys, you can take a pair of 10 by 50 very inexpensive um, binoculars and go outside and spot Comet Ison. And you will be able to see Comet Ison. And the, as the days progress here, guys, you'll start to be able to see Comet Ison with the naked eye as it continues to brighten. And hopefully the comet will hold together uh, as it continues on its inward trek uh, to the inner solar system here. Now, you can't really make it out too good in this picture, guys, but it has an ion tail coming out in this direction here. You can just make it out. I don't know if you can. We will definitely get better pictures of it there. And we'll also start releasing astronomy videos on the weekends showing what we get from the Montre Observatory here in West Arkansas. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Now on to that other portion of the video of the sun grazing comets. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless.